two tailors X and Y are paid a total of 550 rupees per week by the employer. If X is paid 120% of the sum paid to Y, how much is Y paid per week? Well, let us assume that the sum paid to X be small x and the sum paid to y be small y. Now we have been given that the uh, two tailors x and y are paid a total of 550 rupees per week. So we have x plus y is equals to 550. The sum paid to x plus the sum paid to y is equals to 550. Now another thing that is given is x is paid 120% of the sum paid to y. So x is paid that means x is equals to 120% of y. So 120 upon 100 times y. So this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. x is equals to 12 by 10 y. Now you have to calculate how much is y paid per week. So you can put this value of x into this equation and get the value of y. So you have x's value as 12y by 10 plus 1y is equals to 550. Now I can write this single y as 10y by 10 so that the value doesn't change. Now I have the denominator common. So I can write 10 in the denominator. I have 12y plus 10y and that is equals to 22y is equal to 550. Now this 10 goes here. So 22y is equal to 5500 and y is equal to 5500 by 22. Now dividing the numerator and denominator by 11 we get 11 fives are 55 and these two zeros and 11 twos are 22 and that is equal to 500 by 2 is 250. So y is paid 250 rupees per week. A student secures 90%, 60% and 54% marks in test papers with 100, 150 and 200 respectively as the maximum marks. The percentage of his aggregate is? Well, the student has secured 90%, 60% and 54% marks in these papers with these as the maximum marks. So the total marks secured by the student will be equal to, let's say I write total marks is equal to 90% of the first paper, that means 90% uh, of the maximum marks of the first paper, that means 90% of 100 plus 60% of 150 and 54% of 200. So 54 percent of 200. So we have, if we add all these marks, we get the total marks obtained. Right. Now, the total of maximum marks, we have maximum marks as equal to the sum of all of these max marks. So we have 100 plus 150 plus 200. And the percentage of his aggregate will be given by, let me write it, percentage aggregate is equal to total marks, is equal to total marks obtained divided by the max marks times 100. This is how you calculate any percentage. Now this is equal to 90% of 100 is 90 times 100 divided by 100 plus 60% of 150, so 60 by 100 times 150 plus 54 by 100 times 200. Right. So we have this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. Here these two zeros gets cancelled out. This 100 and this 100 gets cancelled out. And these zeros gets get cancelled out. So what remains is, oh, we forgot the, we forgot to divide by maximum mark. So divided by 100 plus 150 plus 200. So 100 plus 200 is 300 plus 150 is 450. So this is equivalent to if you calculate all of these things, you'll get 64%. So 64% are the student's aggregate marks. In an examination, 5% of the applicants were found ineligible 
and 85% of the eligible candidates belong to the general category. If 4275 eligible candidates belong to other categories, then how many candidates applied for the examination? Well, let us consider that the total number of candidates who applied for this examination be X. Now let us find out how many percent of the total candidates were eligible. Well, there is, it is given that 5% of the applicants were ineligible, which means that if there are 100% of applicants, out of that 5% applicants are ineligible, which means that the other 95% of those applicants are eligible. So, number of eligible candidates will be equal to 95% of X, isn't it? Then, the other stuff that is given to us is 85% of eligible candidates belong to general category, right? Now, of these eligible candidates, 85% belong to general category. And the number that is given to us, which is 4275, is of eligible candidates belonging to other categories. Isn't it? So, if 85% of the eligible cal candidates belong to the general category, it means that the other 15% of the candidates were from other categories. Isn't it? 100 minus 85 is 15. So, 15 percent of the eligible candidates belong to other categories. So we have to calculate this 15 percent of 95 percent of x. So we have 15 percent of 95 percent of x is equal to the number is given to us 4275. Let's calculate this and find out the value of x. So we have 15 by 100 times 95 by 100 times x is equals to 4275. So to save time, I'm just giving you the value that comes for this x. So it is equal to 30,000. So our answer is option A. Two students appeared at an examination. One of them secured 9 marks more than the other and his marks was 56% of the sum of their marks. The marks obtained by them are. Let us assume that these two students have their marks as X and Y. And it is given that one of them secured 9 marks more than the other. So let's say that X is equal to 9 marks more than the other, which means that Y plus 9. We have this one equation and his marks was 56% of the sum of their marks. So I can say that this X's marks are equal to 56% of the sum of their marks. So 56 upon 100 times the sum of their marks. So X plus Y. Now you have to find out both the values of X and Y. Now you can put X equals to Y plus 9 here or let's say let us simplify this first x is equals to 56 upon 100 x plus 56 upon 100 y now on the left hand side i have x minus 56 upon 100 x is equals to 56 upon 100 y now i can write this as 100 x minus 56 x will give you 44x. So 44x upon 100 is equals to 56y upon 100. Now these hundreds gets cancelled out. So x is equals to 56y upon 44. Now I can put this value of x here in this equation to get the value of y. So this is equals to 56y upon 44 is equals to y plus 9. Right, so I have 56y upon 44 minus y is equals to 9 and 56y minus 44y will give you 12y upon 44. 
is equals to 9. Now I can put this 44 to the right hand side of equals to. So this is equals to 9 times 44. So y is equals to 9 times 44 by 12. So 3 4s are 12 and 3 3s are 9. And 4 times 11 is equal to 44. So y is equals to 33. Now you can find out x. x is y plus 9. So x is equals to 33 plus 9. And that will give you 42. Right? So x is 42 and y is 33. So our answer is option C.